is currently fix it again time. Right guys, it is fix it again tomorrow day or today day. Mm. Now, if you guys don't know, this is actually my new project car for the channel and I actually bought this about a month ago now and it came with two problems. In the boot, there's actually a leaky floor. And the second thing is, every time I turn left and right at slow speeds, there's a bloody knocking. It's a bloody loud knocking as well, let me tell you. But let's quickly get on the road and I can show you what I'm talking about. Oh my God, my, I'm not, I haven't looked in the camera yet. Why is my forehead so big? It looks like you could land the Hindenburg. Bruv. Nah, that's a violation, what the fuck? Right, please, if I get any comments from that, I'm going to come to your house and put my finger up your bum. Right, ready? So this is, this is the sound, ready? It genuinely sounds like a train going over train tracks, quite simply. Do -go -do -go -do -go -do. We are home. Oh shit, I've hit the bin. <laughs> Right, so the car is all now jacked up. Let's actually take off the wheels and then we can have a look if there's anything wrong with it, if there's any broken springs. And let's see what, 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 we're, what, what we're working with it with today. Now that the wheel is off, let's actually take a look under here. So, one thing a lot of you guys were saying, the noise was, was a broken spring. So, if we look up there, all the springs look intact, they look a bit rusty, but no, it looks fine. The next thing people told me it might be is actually something that I think it is actually the problem. What? My English is not great today, honestly. The next thing people told me it was, was the top, um, the top mount. And if you can see, it genuinely might be because the boot has come loose. I'm guessing dirt's probably got up in there and rotted it away and rusted it. I believe some of these, including this one, has ball bearings in that help it turn so i'm guessing the ball bearings have got a little bit rusty i don't know i'm trying to learn guys just let me know if i'm let me know if i'm on the right track and the next thing is actually the cv joint the outer cv joint right here which actually it looks completely fine but that's what i thought it was initially we have actually got two cv joints for the front or front left and front right so we are going to be definitely changing that even if it doesn't need changing and last but not least which is the one that we i think might be the issue the top mount it sounds like it's coming from both sides so potentially both sides have gone wrong but either way got top mounts and cv joints to change today If any of you are new here, I've only worked on the basics of cars, such as car servicing and a few modifications here and there. So these two things we are going to be fixing today will be the most advanced stuff I've done, even if it seems simple to some of you out there. So if this all goes well, well, Jesus is on my side. Right then, before we actually get into today's video, fixing the fear, I would like to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Cloudburst. I'm excited for this one. <laughs> Sorry about all the bubbles, but if you guys don't know what Cloudburst is, Cloudburst is actually a high pressure odor eliminator that is inspired by the most popular clones on the marketplace including MLNZ, which is inspired by 1 million, KRDZ, which is inspired by Creed, and SVGZ, which is inspired by Dior Savage, or Savage. But I'm proud to announce that they have expanded their range with three new high pressure odor eliminators, which are TFOZ, inspired by Tom Ford Ombre Leather, FLRZ, which is inspired by Kenzo Flowers, BCDZ, inspired by Armani Code, now, Cloudburst can be used in your car. For example, it gets really stinky in here now that we've got a dog and we take her out in the car. So one spot of this, and it smells gorgeous. Cloudburst can be used in your car, office, clothing and footwear, 
Cloudburst are also introducing their new range of luxury scented candles. Right here, I've actually got the Black Opium Luxury Candle. However, they also do Tom Ford, Tobacco Vanille, and Dior Savage. Now then, guys, if you are at all interested in trying Cloudburst, use my discount code OTHERSTUFF10 for 10% off your purchase. I would definitely recommend this one. This smells amazing. Or you can try any of the other odor eliminators or the new candles. The first thing I did was spray down all of the bolts I was gonna take off with WD-40 to make it easier for it when I take them off. Then I started by removing the strut bolts by sticking a socket on one side to stop it from spinning and then using the ugga dugga on the other side. The next thing though is this little drop link, I think it's called. See guys, I'm learning. It's probably not even called the drop link, it's probably called the bop link. But this is a hell to take out as well. It's got a little hex key in there. So you put a hex up. Sorry. Let's see if this comes off. We're probably gonna round it, but. <laughs> Stripped it, look at that. Fuck's sake. One bolt, one bolt can ruin your day. I'm gonna either have to order a new drop link or one of those screws, but I'm gonna have to saw that bitch off now. The next and last screw for the strut to come out is actually the top one, and that is what holds it on, I think. I don't know. To get to it, it's another bit of a pain. We actually have to take off this piece. Another windscreen wiper off. You just put WD-40 in, wiggle it a little bit, and then you can get kits that help you get this off, because they can be quite seized on like this. Oh, perfect. And there you go. Perfect. Two windscreen wipers out. That's Chloe and you the gotta dog. Get the little puppy doing. I know. The little puppy doing. Oh, now we here is the top suspension bolt thing. So pretty much we need to undo this bolt, and we hopefully should be able to get each strut out. There you go. So then this right here is the top mount, which I'm going to be replacing. It looks like it's been covered in dirt. Perfect. And look. Even this bit doesn't stay like, this is meant to cover it from all the dirt. It hasn't done that, so. To get the uh, top mount off, to change it, we actually need to compress the spring so that basically, you see online all of the all of the dickheads getting the spring off without a spring compression, it goes flying. That is, this is what basically stops it from doing, uh, stops that from happening, flying in your face. So we're gonna tighten that down, it's gonna compress the spring, we've got two of them. The top that is the old top mount off. I think that this strut is bad because I think that these should go back up once you push them down. Right. <laughs> Coilovers are probably needed pretty damn soon. But yeah, now I need to put it back together, get the new top mount on, and get it back on the car. I think we've got it. Bit fiddly, but. Right, now let's see if it springs off and hits me in the face. If it does, we've we installed it wrong. If it hasn't, and we've installed it right. And there we have it. Today, I've taken out the suspension and we installed a new top mount. That is a pretty big accomplishment for me. To be fair, like, Think about it now, I could 100% install coilovers because coilovers are literally, they come pre-made basically, so they don't, all you do is you take out the old bus suspension, you don't have to mess around with the springs, you just install it, you know what I mean? So. few moments later we've actually got the strut all complete now we got our little helpers right here i think she's more help than you off, let's now take this out and that is quite simply it now we've got the strut there you go. Let me pop the nut back on. 
Okay, now untighten these. There. there we have a new strut. Lovely. That's the strut's done. Right then, lads, two days later, I think my drop links have come. There is the drop link. Oh, and you like it, don't you? £14, Rosie. £14. She's like, blood, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, she just wants to eat the box. Lovely. We've also got a wishbone, I think, ball joint um, splitter. This is what I always say to myself. I'd rather spend £10, £15 on a specific tool rather than spending two hours trying to get the fucker off. And last but not least, I've actually got this beautiful uh, thing right here. A little bit off topic of what we're doing, but let's open it. What we have here is actually a Rode Angel dash cam. I actually have this in the Shroco. Guys, it's like unboxing an iPhone. Right guys, two days later, and I'm finally ready to do the car. And look, the top mounts are on. We're ready to get these back on the car. We're gonna get the struts on first, and then we're gonna do the CV joints. At least this bit will have something to hold on to, or else it will just be dangling by, I think, what's this called? Tire rod or, I don't know what that, well, tell me what that is in the comments. But to put these back in, it is the exact same process, just one bolt up here, two bolts here, and then the drop link, which I'm gonna install right here. This side is now all done. And basically this is the moment that we've been waiting for. We're gonna pop the wheels on in just a second. But this is literally the moment I've been waiting for for so long. I'm genuinely so excited to get this car on the floor and see what it sounds like. I'm really excited. Just gotta get the wheels on. And me and Chloe are gonna go on a little drive. It was honestly so nerve wracking. Cause if I haven't done one of the bolts up or I've even forgotten to put one of the bolts in, this car is gonna end up on its fucking face. <laughs> Now that, my friends, is fucking surprising. <laughs> wow, I really thought like I'd lower the car, it'd be on its own way, and then all of a sudden, it would just fall over like a donkey that's got wonky legs. All right, then I've collected the Pussy Patrol. Pit Rose just... <laughs> oh, she walked into the fucking bin. Oh, Jesus. Right then, guys, we've got the dog in the back as well. I don't know if you guys can see her, but she's chilling. When I turn left and right, this was the noise. It was like a train track. It was like a trip. And I think that that was the top mount. But we will soon. No, she's not disappointed. She's going to be a bit still knocked. I'm not going to be disappointed. I'm going to be disappointed if this fucking wheel falls off me. Yeah, if it does knock, we'll do CV joint. And then the next thing we'll do is sell this car off to an, uh, a, a scrapyard. This is going to be nice if it's stopped. <laughs> We're going for it. We're going for it. This is going to be so nice if. It doesn't knock anymore. I'm actually quite scared. Um, are you joking me? I've actually fixed it. <laughs> we fixed it! We fixed it, Chloe. Look. Ow. Holy Damn. shit, Santa. What is this guy doing? Leave him at home, man. What are we doing? Yeah, why is he stopping at that? Why has Chloe got such an attitude about life? Just listen. <laughs> oh, I got it, windscreen wipers, fam. I just did the wind. I can't see. It's silent. Oh, why we, well done. Why are we Stewie. excited about a car that's like fixed? Because you did such a good job. I did. Oh, this is, I did that. <laughs> you did that. You always put yourself down, but you're clever. Listen. Wow. That's, look. I fixed it myself. No mechanic. I know, boo. Wait, I did it. Time to potentially break the car again. So right now what we are going to be changing is this outer CV joint which is this thing and this thing 
is quite important. I've been trying to learn learn about this for you guys. I've been watching all the videos and stuff. A CV joint stands for a constant velocity joint. Eh? Eh? A star, bruv. So the first thing that we have to undo is the main bolt, which is right here. It's on very tight, so... The next bolt that we have to undo to get to the CV joint is this one. This is called Jack, this is. Or Daddy Jack. And then, once you've smacked it through, it will be a bit tight, but there you go. And last but not least, it looks like I've got a cow's foot. Um, we actually stick this in the, between the wishbone and the ball joint, and then we hammer it out. Basically, they can be very stubborn. Right, so with a little persuasion, a little bit Asian persuasion, we've actually got that loose now. We just punch that CV joint through, and this bit will come out, which it kind of is already. So we can wiggle it out. There's the CV joint all loose. As you can see, right there. There you go, it's all free. Ah, have you actually done it? Let me unbox a new one and then I can show you guys what that looks like. Oh, look at that. Look at that brand new nest. There's all the ball bearings. That is going to replace that bad boy right there. I'm actually hoping that this CV joint needs changing or is in the process of needing changing because hopefully I can tell a difference. Let's see if this goes well or not. Oh, it's come off. Oh my God, we've got the CV joint off. Gee, there you go. <laughs> what? For the next part, we're gonna need <laughs> these. I mean, look at me, hold on. That is what CV boot grease does to you. Oh yeah. Stick that in there. <laughs> Just fucked up. I'm just fucked up. Oh. I'm fucked up, guys. I think if you are watching that and you're like, oh yeah, he's fucked up. I fucked up. I forgot to put the rubber boot, rubber boot on first. You have to put the boot on first, like up here, and then put the CV joint on so you can pull the boot down and cover that. Let's, let's get everything back together just now. Boom. Just like that. It's now on. Finally, I've put the rubber on the right way. So now what we have to do is we have to put the CV joint, push this whole system, and then get it through this little spline thing right here. Okay, put the bolt on, tighten it up. Seems a lot simpler than it, than it looks. There you go. That's all in. I'm going to get this new bolt. Turn it in. The, dog and the final day working on this car and it's been done. Two new top mounts put in. Two new CV joints. That's a new one right there. That's not going nowhere. There is the new CV joint on the other side. This, this side, super easy. Let me get the wheels on and this car down on the ground very quickly. So then guys, that is the Fiat Punto all fixed because of the top mount. And even further, we've put new CV joints on. So I'm really hoping to see a difference. But yeah, my first ever big, big project like this, it actually took probably about five days to do this all in general. Hopefully this video will push you guys to do the same. Really, it's quite simple stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna quickly get changed because I'm fucking filthy. And then we're gonna take it on a drive. And hopefully this all goes well. Right then, all changed, all clean now, or semi clean. We're about to take the Fiat Punto out, and hopefully, we don't die. Tell me I've got a Hitler moustache. Yeah, I know. It's Fucking great. Good? Yeah. That's decent, Stewie, you know. I think you've done good. Right, for 
this is where literally you say that and then we just go <laughs> and we skid across the floor. Skinny road. That's it guys. Cheese. Let's hit the bin again. So yeah guys, that is the Fiat Punto knocking all fixed. That was the sub uh, top mount, but that is also the CV joints all done. I can't really tell the difference with the CV joints, but at least I know that they have been changed. That's the CV joints done, top mounts done. Next up, let me know what you guys want to see me do on this car because again, like I said, I will do everything. We are going to be doing coilovers very, very soon. Or not very, very soon. I, I don't know when we're going to do it. But yeah, I'm really, I've really enjoyed doing this. Seems stable. Look at him. He's got no shame in scratching his ass. Like, Wait, so, let me yeah. turn the wheel left and right. Oh, in. I ain't got time let me turn for this shit, the wheel. Me. You hear that? What? Silence. No, I can hear it on the gravel. Definitely needs to... Oh, we didn't even fix the, the boot leak. Anyway, guys, that is unfortunately the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in our faces in my next video.